Hey guys, my name is Revro, and welcome back to the last time. <laughs> now, I have I missed this game. I, I've been in jail for eight months. Uh, I've just been standing here forever. I haven't even gotten any food or anything. But I really enjoyed making these episodes, and I <laughs> smart uploading schedule thinking, Revro. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to leave this game like that. I don't know what happened, and I did I grow more of a beard? I don't think so. I don't know. I shouldn't make eye contact. I shouldn't, I shouldn't let them see how afraid I am. <laughs> I'm not afraid! <laughs> I'm a goofy goober, yeah. <laughs> People are just staring at me. But that's not the song that's playing. It's your lucky day, inmate. Your cell mate was hospitalized yesterday, so you've got the place to yourself. Aww. I want to meet a new friend. How did he get hospitalized? Stop asking questions and get in there before I break your skill. Okay, Tom Hanks. Actually, no, Tom Hanks was a good person in the Green Mile. Uh, someone bad from Shawshank Redemption. I want the- I get the top bunk! Hmm, the ladder does look kind of narrow. I don't think I'll be using the top- No! Ah, You know, fun. I hope you- Sit and stand, stand in the corner. Sit there forever. Now, have you thought about which one you want? The top bunk. Okay, I'll just use. Them. I guess I better try to get some sleep. Who knows what I'm in for tomorrow? Flump. Prison. <sighs> it's just like like my name is Earl when he went to jail. Spoilers. I'm starving. Time for breakfast. And narrating. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Green mush, orange mush, m mush, beige mush, pink mush. I want the beige. Is that spaghetti? Some sort of meat. Just close your eyes and just stuff your face and just ima uh, imagine it's spaghetti. Hi, chef. Give me food. Menu? There's no menu. Can I have a look at the menu? There's goop. Nothing else. Just other colors. You've got a lot to learn, old timer. You eat what you're given. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, what color is it? I wasn't giving anything. Or given anything. I think that's peas. Or cabbage. Cabbage and peas. Keys. Or cabbage. That looks like carrots. Or maybe sweet potato. <gasps> I hope it's sweet potatoes. I like some sweet potatoes. What is that I smell? I smell me some cornbread. <laughs> yes, I've been watching The Green Mile. <laughs> uh, I watched it in class and I watched it at home. It's really good. And that's because I love Tom Hanks. That's definitely strawberries. Oh, they're so nice serving strawberries. Or maybe kidney beans. Who do you have back there? <laughs> okay, so was I given something? I was given an attitude by that. <laughs> I don't walk properly when I'm nervous. I'd rather not talk to anyone unless it's strictly necessary. I've been trying to keep a low profile. You're new! Yeah, my name is Jack, so what? Leave me alone. Yeah, my name is Jack. It's nice to see another old timer in here. We old fossils should stick together. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm trying to work on what voice I should have as I'm reading it. Why are you in here? How long you been here? Why are you in here? How did you end up in prison? I took some stuff that didn't belong to me. A lot of stuff. I think I got the voice. What kind of stuff? Art stuff. Mostly paintings, antiques, small statues. I was quite an infamous cat burglar when I was young. <laughs> You stole cats from people. I have some antique stuff. I have a, a what is like poster or well It's in a it's a picture and it's in a frame and it has like a bunch of quotes from movies that are like inspiring um, I have a board with three ostriches on it. One has a I, I don't know if you can see it from here One has a blue hat one has blue sunglasses and one has a tiara. I didn't steal these by the way <laughs> I have <laughs> over there a a poop emoji <laughs> Uh, a me seeks plushie because I know I just had to get it. I went to uh, a drama tour or trip. I went to a drama trip. I picked up 
So I, I pick up the weirdest things when I'm like at the mall. I picked up that me seeks plushie. I picked up Jeopardy on the Wii <laughs> or something else, but I can't remember. Um, I, I didn't steal any of these, by the way. I, I, I just want to show what I have. What antique stuff do you have? But one day it all went wrong. Museum security guard collapsed while chasing me. The damn fool had a heart attack. <laughs> I stopped to resuscitate him. Police caught me at the scene. He died anyway, and I got slapped with a life sentence for murder. And a hand. <laughs> 45 years later, and I'm still here, oh god. <laughs> What's your story? Well, I'm not a cop anymore. I haven't been for a long time. And now I'm in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Sure you're innocent. Just like everyone else in this place. <laughs> I'm kind of like an evil wharf stash kind of voice. I mean it. Somebody set my care home on fire and somehow I ended up getting the blame. Really? Well, that's some bad luck right there. Sounds like you really don't belong here. But look on the bright side. <laughs> you can use this time to grow out your beard. They might find some new evidence that clears your name. In fact, I bet you'll be out of here within a few days. You mark my words. Okay. Okay, Sean. I'm gonna listen to what Sean says. Day 96. Sarah, it's me. Jack, it's been weeks since your last call. Are you alright? Ah! <laughs> Sarah, are you alright? Your voice has gone a bit deeper. <laughs> no, I'm in prison. <laughs> No, I'm not alright. I'm in prison. Well, you're as slurly as ever, so I take that to mean that they haven't completely crushed your spirit in there. Look, I've been reviewing the evidence, talking to witnesses. I'm hoping to get enough evidence for an appeal soon. Um, thanks, Sarah. It means a lot. Knowing that I've got a friend on the outside keeps me going. Uh, don't get soppy on me now, Jack. I know you did the same for me. Sarah? Sorry, hold on. There's someone at the door. Give me a second. Da, da, da. Yes, can I help you? Wait, what are you? Ah! Sarah? Hello, is this Jack Glover? Uh, a deep, dark voice. <laughs> yes, who are you? Uh, Jack, what a happy coincidence. The very man I'm looking for. I asked you who you are. My, my. Don't you recognize my voice? I'm insulted. I might have changed it. I don't have the patience to play games with you. We're alike in that respect, Jack. I'm running out of patience, too. You were supposed to die when I set your care home on fire. And yet, like a rat, you escaped. In fact, I have so little patience that I've decided to stop chasing you. Instead, you will come to me. Uh... I can't. I'm in prison. Make it happen, Jack. Because if you don't, I will put a bullet in this girl's pretty little head. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, he's just borrowing the phone for a second. She's just, like, over there patiently, and he's just talking very quietly. She has no idea what he's saying. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. Good, because I need you to come and meet me within 24 hours. You can't be serious. I'm locked up. I'll be at the last place you saw Darren alive. I think you'll remember where that is. Find a way. Oh, is that that guy that had his... That had his arm wrapped around him? He was gonna shoot him? Last place I saw Darren alive. Sarah's been held hostage at the house where. Oh God. <laughs> uh. Hey, you all right? No, oh, Sean, I'm not all right. What's wrong, Jack? I need to get out of here. My friend's in danger. My friend's in danger, and I can't do anything because I'm stuck in here. Hey, why didn't you say so earlier? I can help you get out of here, no problem. Really? Sure, I used to break into places all the time. Breaking out isn't so different. 
All you need to, to escape is a pair of wire cutters. I can get those for you, but if, but if on, but only if I've got something to trade the, for them. You can bring me six cigarettes. I can get you the wire cutters so you can escape. Six cigarettes. Why don't you escape? If you know so much about escaping, then why haven't you broken out of here already? Hey man, I can't go back into society. I'm sick. I need help. <laughs> Does this face look like it belongs out there? <laughs> Fine, I'll bring you the cigarettes. How do I get hold of them? Well, cigarettes are valuable here, so people usually keep them close. So I'm going to have to trade with other people, and then trade with other people to get the, the them to trade them to get the... To get you to trade? <laughs> if you talk to the right people, you should be able to get them. I'll be in the canteen. Come find me where you've got six cigarettes. <laughs> Wait, so I just had like... Like a quarter in my pants when I went to jail. And now I don't have any more. Craig? Hello there. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? Uh, uh, sorry. I mean, how are you doing? Not good, man. Not good. I need my s stuff. A hairbrush? My, my book. I, I haven't read it in so long. Do, do me a solid and go get it for me, would you? Sure, why not? Thanks, man. You're the best. If you go to the library, you'll find it. It's the biggest yellow book in the pa place. Okay. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Why should I say that? <laughs> what what would what would he say after that? And then like what would I say to him when I say this? Would they give me something? I'm colorblind. Finding the biggest yellow book in the library is gonna present something of a challenge. <laughs> just a colorblind guy. I don't mean to like make fun of, but but just like I go to the library. I'm just looking. There's just like fifty thousand books. Hey, no problem, man. I, th I think it's the second bookcase from the left, third shelf from the top. I'm also dyslexic. <laughs> Actually, I'm also dyslexic. Just bringing these things up now. <laughs> I should have started my sentence with, Hi, Craig, how are you doing? I'm dyslexic and colorblind. <laughs> Actually, I'm also dyslexic. I've got left and right mixed up. I, I, kind, I think I have slight dyslexia. I don't know. When I read books, well, when I read a book, I, I, I kind of have troubles reading it. I think I'm getting better at it, but I, I don't know. Th then you're going to have to... Then you're going to have a bit of d difficulty. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> okay, he can't really do much. Okay, hi George. Wait, no, I don't want a bunch of missions. Like, I don't want to be overbooked. <laughs> overbooked, because I have to get a big yellow book. What's up? I saw you talking to Craig. You should have been careful about that guy. He's a miss. Thanks for the tip. Does he have cigarettes? I want an item in my inventory. I can't check that right now. <laughs> Can I borrow a cigarette? I can't just give you a cigarette, man. Smoke is all I've got left since that god confiscated, confiscated the basketballs. Why do you do that? Well, some nerd kid from the library was using a ball to reenact a scene from Shakespeare. You know, the guy with the skull. Romeo and Juliet? Uh, I don't know. I never paid attention when we did Shakespeare at school. Yeah, me neither. So, anyway, <laughs> he's not gonna tell me. The nerd guy, he's holding the bl ball out. Shooting Alice, poor York, and all that shit. And suddenly, this dick guard, he comes along and says, This is a yard, not a theater. And he whacks the ball with his baton. <laughs> well, the ball is made of rubber, see? And it bounces. It bounces right off this ball here, and it's guard smack in the face. So the guard he gets all mad. So it's whacking all the balls. Short story is, we got all our balls confiscated. <laughs> and the guard hates balls now. <laughs> what a shame. You're damn right. I haven't done anything competitive in weeks. It's driving me mad. Tell you what, how about a game of rock, paper, scissors? You be doing me a favor. Why not? <laughs> sure, why not? Us. Alright. First person to score three points wins. You ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Punch. Um. <gasps> Scissors. 
Ha, this is good paper, my point. Next round, three, two, one, go. I can't use paper now? Oh, I could. I'll use paper again. Paper beats rock, that's a point for you. Next round, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Should I just use paper all the way? Yeah, paper beats rock, that's a point for you. Next round, three, two, one, go. <laughs> ah! Paper seems to be winning me the points. Nah! Rock on rock, it's a draw. Next round, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't want to punch him. Hey, he's just over there watching, like, what are, what are those guys doing? Shaking their hands. <laughs> I haven't used scissors yet. Ah! Damn, scissors beat paper. Wait, that's paper? I thought that was rock. Your point. Hey, that's your third point. You win. Serves me right for getting cocky. Well played, man. Use your victory cigarette. You've earned it. Thanks. Okay, I've got my first cigarette. Let's start. Oh, I got one cigarette. Okay. Yeah. It's, you know you're doing good when you have one cigarette. Well, the screen kind of moved a little bit. Um, okay, I will tr get you that book. Big yellow book. The biggest yellow book. It's close to 50,000. It's a book, Moonfall, by James Beans. <laughs> hey, Stanley, did you steal the book that I need? Hi there. Oh no, please. Not another one. What are you talking about? You're here to bully me, aren't you? Please, just leave me alone. I never did harm to anybody. Yes, give me cigarettes. Ugh, it's so tempting just to click that. But I'll ease into it. Ah, someone's been bullying me all week. I thought you were here to join in. Who's been bullying you? This guy called Willie spends a lot of time in the gym. He's really strong. I'm afraid he'll hurt me. Well, yeah, if you make a, a book for it while he's not in here, you could protect yourself. <laughs> hey, you look pretty tough. Do you think you could please go and talk to Willie for me? Get him to back off? Well, I've got a cigarette. I could give it to you if you help me out. No, or I could take it from you. Sounds fair. I'll do it. Okay, thank you so much. You're my hero. Let's book the Dragon Butterfly Princess and the Sugar Mountain Prince. Yes! <laughs> the sugar what? Okay. Do you really have time to read? Willa could get back here any minute. We'll make that book for it like I said! Make that book for it! Am I just like gonna like return to the library and he's gonna just be like his face covered in blood? Oh, that didn't happen. I got your book. You weirdo. Thank God, I need it so bad. Why you need this book so much anyway? This is not the book I need. It's the c crack cocaine I hid in the spine. You just used me to smuggle your drug. Come on, man. Don't soar about it. Please just give, give me my crack. <laughs> well, that's probably why he didn't get it himself. <laughs> Fine here. Wait, if I told him to get it himself, would he have like told me that he did drugs? There you go. What can I do for you? Shouldn't you switch hands? Oh, is that the guy picking on Stanley? Stanley tells me you've been picking on him. Is this true? Ooh, that guy who spends all his time in the library? I didn't mean to make that sucker feel bad or nothing. I just wanted to spend some time with him. I love that kid, man. I mean, I may not be good at expressing, but it's true. He's so educated. Say, do me a favor and bring him this letter I wrote for him. It might help me understand my feelings. All right, I've got. <laughs> oh God! A good thing there's a there's a fog there. The perfect spot. If I see another human being, I'm going to turn around and- Wah! He is a- Steve. Hello. Hello. How to wash a beard. <laughs> yes, let, let's ask the nice questions first. How do you wash your beard? I use conditioner. Leave it in for a few minutes. Good to know. <laughs> okay. I'll, rem I'll remember that. Have you got any cigarettes? Oh yes, I've got a couple. Can I have them? 
I'll give you them if you could please pass me that soap. I seem to have dropped it. <laughs> Just close your eyes and don't grab anything. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it was that easy, you know, like a little mini game. Uh, I'd have done it myself, but I have bad luck, you see. No problem. Nobody usually wants to pass the soap when I drop it. You're the first person here who helped me out like this. Will you be my friend? Sure. <laughs> We're friends now. Here's your cigarettes, friend. Thanks, friend. Bring me to five cigarettes. One more to go. Okay, bye. <laughs> no one show up, please. I smell me some cornbread. Whoosh, clothes on. <laughs> okay. And then... What about that other guy? Let's check in how this guy's doing. I'm bad at names. Don't you dare hurt him. Hi there. Oh, hi. Did you sort things out with Willie really yet? I sure did. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, oh, I wanted to read that letter first before I gave it to him. Uh huh. You gave me a letter to pass on to you. Here, have a look. A letter? Let me see. It's a picture of his, like, ass or something. I want to express my feelings. Oh my goodness, he likes me. Oh, I, I kind of knew. I kind of guessed. Congratulations! I never knew he felt this way. This changes everything. I've always liked him. Aww. Aww, that's cute. Aww, someone bullying someone else, but it's just because they like each other. I'll write him a poem. Wait, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be a, a message bird. A message boy. <laughs> I'll write him a poem. Wait, no, a sonnet. Just like Shakespeare. That way he'll know I like him back. Thanks so much for doing this. Have a cigarette. It's not much, but it's the least I can do. Thanks. Great. Now I've got six cigarettes. Time to go. Yeah! Wait. What about that other guy? He said that... He said that he lost his balls. <laughs> hey, Sean. I want some strawberries. Maybe Sean will give me strawberries if I give him the cigarettes. Yeah, okay. My legs are a little weak today. I'm doing those 21 push-ups. Hey. Hey, you got me six cigarettes? Yes, here you go. Great job, man. You must have had to hurt a few people to get these. Actually, no. I managed to get them all without harming a single person. I, I actually brought two people together. Really? Well, I'll be damned. You're a better man than me, Jack, I tell you that. Anyway, here are the wire cutters. This game is so different from like what, like, like, I've kind of forgotten what's happened before. Like I, I still remember episode two when I went to the the party, but like I don't know, it's just a completely different game. It's it's probably just because I'm in prison. Here are the wire cutters. What? You've had you them on you this whole time? Yes. You could have just given them to me straight away. Yes. Why would you put me through this? You don't remember when we met, do you? Of course I do. I haven't been here that long. I met before you were in prison. As in, a long time before. Does his, his face look familiar? And I've just never noticed? That's why I don't leave gaps in recordings. You were the one who arrested me the night I got caught. Oh, I wish I remember this. You're the reason I'm in here. Oh? Huh? I'm not surprised that you forgot. I mean, just because you had a big impact on my life doesn't mean you remember me. It's funny, isn't it? The things we remember. The people we forget. I'm sorry. Ha! Huh, don't be. I made a stupid mistake, and I spent a good while regretting it. But you know what? After a while, I realized, regret gets you nowhere, and you have to move on. So I did. If you've moved on, how come you made me hunt for cigarettes when you could have just helped me? Well, I'm not a saint. I could have resisted the opportunity to mess with you a bit. Plus, I love cigarettes. You're a dick. I guess he's not that bad. I mean, like, I, I am kind of scared of him a little bit. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. 
Go to the chain link fence at the end of the yard. The wire cutter should make a short work of it. Here are your wire cutters. <laughs> You're not coming? Nah, there's nothing for me out there. Besides, I can't imagine what it would be like to face the outside world after all this time. All this time, I went to shoot away the rifle. Good luck. I made him sound like a, a scary PewDiePie. <laughs> Okay, Sean, you don't pop up anywhere. Okay. Can I do anything for this guy? I, I helped everyone but him. I'm out of cigarettes, man. Maybe we can play another game tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think we just made up for it by just <laughs> playing this. It's working. I'll get through this fence in no time. Hey! Hit me! What the hell do you think you're doing? Looking at the view. I'm just looking at the view. You think I'm stupid, huh? Your buddy Sean already ratted you out. I know what you're planning. Sean! I'm going to put you in solitary confinement until you rot. Friends in danger, I'll give you money. Uh, nothing will- none of these will help me. I've learned my lesson. I'm- I'm- I'm turning soft. I've learned not to use these in situations. <laughs> my friend's in danger. You've gotta let me go. You haven't gotten any friends in here, old man. And I've got- and I'm gonna teach you like that in a way you won't forget. <sighs> What? <laughs> Leave my friend alone. <laughs> Steve, I love you. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. He's me. He has no face now. You t you ripped his face off. We stopped now. He's had enough. Anything for you, my friend. <laughs> oh, I love Steve. Oh, my shower buddy! <laughs> Thanks. You've done good. Gotta go now. There's one last thing I need to take care of. Wait, before you go, you should take this. What on earth? This is... A gun, yes. Where the hell did you get a gun? I did smuggled in. You did... You get some dangerous people around here. You can't be too cautious. The outside world is even more dangerous. We need protection more than I do. Uh, do I need a gun? Oh. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. Thanks, Steve. This might come in useful. Now it's time for me to leave. A friend of mine needs my help. A long, long walk later. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I had to walk. <laughs> Is it raining? This is the place. Things that look crooked. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Am I gonna have enough energy to handle what's about to go on in this room? It's lucky that no one on the road paid me any attention. <laughs> I had to believe it's been 40 years since. Okay, Jack, take a deep breath. You guys take a brief deep breath, too. You're about to see something. I don't even know. Sarah's been held hostage in there, and she needs your help. Let's do this. She needs your help, too. I'm gonna be upstairs. You're gonna do a little, little thingy. Well, that brings back memories. The wardrobe. God, no. It might be the previous blood from before. Hello, Jack. Remember me. You're Jonah Price. Or... No, I don't. No, can't say I do. 
I'm Jonah Price, you old fool. I was married to Darren. I thought you were dead. <laughs> That's what my no-good son wants people to think. Ashamed of me, he is. Well, I'm still here, like it or not. Let me go, you crazy lady. I am your granddaughter, for Christ's sake. Oh, so now you're my granddaughter. After I was dead for you for all these years. It didn't stop you from biting my ear off, did it? You little bitch. Did you bit her ear off? <laughs> the only family worth a damn to me died 40 years ago. You started the fire. Why did you frame me? She didn't start the fire, did she? Why the hell did you frame me for starting a fire at my care home? You were supposed to be in there, Jack. I wasn't trying to frame you. I was trying to kill you. It was easy enough to get in. No one noticed an elderly person wandering around. But why'd you do it? Why? You let my husband get killed, you idiot! It wasn't my, it wasn't my fault. I used to blame myself, but I've come to realize something recently. Carl Foster was responsible for Darren's death, not me. I used to believe that, Jack. I spent 40 years blaming Foster for what happened, waiting for an opportunity to get revenge. And when he fought, was finally released, I thought I'd have it. But killing him didn't change anything. Didn't take away the pain. It wasn't enough. I needed more. Which is where you come in, Jack. You, who failed my husband when he needed you the most. <coughs> oh, did you see that tear going down my face? <laughs> I was trying to stay in character. Never forgiven myself what happened. Well, in that case, today's your lucky day. I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Yay! Let's see if you can stop me from killing this girl that you seem to care so much about. This is like going out a second time, getting another chance. Think about what you're doing. I've been lying awake at night thinking about this, Jack. What would Darren think? What would Darren think if he could see you now? Stop it. You don't have the right to use his memory like that. This won't bring him Darren back. But it will take away the pain. No, it won't, Jonah. Don't you see? Killing Foster didn't make you feel better. And another murder isn't going to help either. It has to end here. Oh god. You're right. I just miss him so much, Jack. I know, Jonah. I miss him too. What have I done? Don't! It's not too late. Maybe not for you, Jack. But it is for me. I'm coming, Darren. I don't really know her. Hi! Hi. You know, we didn't have to come here for my sake. I'm glad she's dead. She was gonna kill me. Yeah, you know, your voice right now is not very emotional for this, this scene of wh where we are. I didn't come here for her. I came here for Darren. It's been too long since I visited him. Besides, I don't blame Jonah for what happened. Decades of regret can completely change a person. Well, it didn't, do, it didn't change you, Jack. I wasn't sure about you at first, but you proved me that you're a good person. You put yourself in danger to save me. That counts for a lot. I owed it to Darren. I couldn't let someone else I care about die. You know... I was thinking about what you said, about how I should consider becoming a police officer. I looked into it. The whole investigating thing seemed pretty cool, but it was a bit too much bureaucracy for me. So I thought going freelance would suit me better. And I was wondering if you would start a private detective firm with me. Seriously? Sorry, it's dumb. I shouldn't have said anything. Um... Yeah, I'd rather just get some ice cream and sit down on the sofa. <laughs> um, 
course I'll join you, Sarah. You mean it? Yes, why wouldn't I? Teaming up with you was the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Awesome, that's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, it used to be me and Darren doing this. I can't believe we're on our way to meet our very first client. He's so exciting. Keep cool. We need to be level-headed for this. Of course, you're right, Jack. I need to stay focused. <laughs> Still, though, I can't remember the last time I felt so alive. Don't I just love nights like this? Well, that song we sung? Come on. Oh. What? Oh, that was the end. Okay. Tom Byrne. Graham Hayes, Thomas Hopwood. I didn't know that was the end. <laughs> Made with Adventure Creator. This is just, this is the exact same thing as I did with Oxenfree. I left it for a while, I didn't think, I, I thought I had a few more episodes, and then it was the end, right now. <laughs> well, I guess it, it was kind of leading to the end, I just wasn't paying attention. I guess I was just too into the game. Connor Maynard? What? Lightfoot? What's Connor Maynard doing in that? Are, wait, are these? There's no Ribro in there. Are those people who played the game? I didn't read what it says. With beta testing by. Good on all these people supporting this game. Wait. I'm following. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if. I know my friend Jay, he, like when the demo came out, he was contacting the creator of this game and he gave him a free thing for that. Right, I just know that they were talking about it. I don't know if they put his name there. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end. Okay. <laughs> I really like this game. I know it's a long time to go back, <laughs> but I think I'm glad I went back and finished the series again. It's so weird. I really like the characters. I, I liked everything that happened. Just a lot of fun situations came up in this game and I really liked it. And I really liked how like getting out of it and like making friends and seeing who turns their back on who and whatever and uh, especially the voices. I love doing voices. They, ma they make it my own series and it, it makes it really fun. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it. Um, <laughs> I know the Sarah one is a bit annoying, but I, you need at least one annoying character. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do stuff like this, like leave gaps for videos. I, I know I, it's it's probably because I don't upload every day, and I wanna like when people look back on my channel. I guess it's that I'm worried that people will think, oh, he just uploads that every other video, but it's not because it's like a couple weeks past. So I guess I'm just scared of people thinking of my channel a wrong way. Um, and I, I want, like, variety and all that. And I don't know. I, I guess I, sh I should just upload what I can. So I'm sorry for if, if I've ever let like left gaps and like left you guys hanging and like wondering what could have happened. But I, I'm glad I, I came back. <laughs> And finished it like the now now when people look back the series whole series will be finished just like oxen free so uh, I'm, I'm glad about that so thank you all so much for watching share with a friend and I hope to see you in the next one so bye for now Rob Row out <laughs>